Hey, you guys. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and talk before the Green Room episode airs. We just got done doing like a two-hour Green Room episode. It was really dope. And then near the end, something really weird and glitchy happened. Um, somebody called in and she was talking about how her and her boyfriend went to the Kanye West um, Donda listening party. And how it was just really spiritually weird for her. And it was so, like, just the energy there was, like, really kind of dark. She wasn't really feeling it. And afterwards, she had to take, like, a spiritual bath and all this stuff. We started getting really esoterical near the end. And all of a sudden, it was like my entire screen froze up. I could not see the chat at all. People on the Discord, like, kind of going crazy because they said two people came into the chat and they started posting, like, really, like, demonic gifts. And it was causing, like, the chat to, like, spam out and freak out. And so people were, like, trying to get them to stop and they wouldn't. And I couldn't see anything. And then all of a sudden, after I got off the call with her, they said another woman in the chat said she was, like, a background dancer for Kanye's Donda listening party and she wanted to call in. No one could hear me. It's like every other word was coming out on the audio. And I heard Tim for and say, T, we can only hear any other word. And I'm like, what is going on? So nobody could hear me. I couldn't see the chat. So I eventually just had to shut down, you know, the, the episode. But we had been talking for two hours. So I don't know, honey, what ended up happening. A lot of people felt very funny with the ending. And as right now, as I'm trying to edit everything, you can see where the audio is perfectly fine. And then when the girl gets done telling her Kanye story and I, you know, bid her by, um, all of a sudden the audio is just choppy, choppy, choppy. And I let a little bit of it play, but it went on for like three or four minutes. So I don't know, honey, but like we always say, we battle not just against flesh, but principalities. So stay prayed up, stay woke and understand that, you know, spiritual warfare is very, very real. And especially when you're very spiritually in tune. But once again, I just want to thank everybody who came tonight to the green room episode. I'm sorry about how it ended. It was just kind of crazy, but, um, we have enough audio where you'll enjoy the two-hour podcast. So I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good day. Bye. Kanye West has like the Donda kind of preview. Uh, yeah, when he's like, he's doing like the release and all that shit. There's people saying that during the Donda event, yeah. they saw on one of the tables in the middle was like a candle and, and I think like a, like a silver glass, something like that, like yeah. a cup. And people are saying that that is meant to be used for mm. a seance. You know what that is? Wait, what is that? It's the contact a spirit. The contact a spirit. Contact spirit. So Kanye, the whole project is called Donda. Yeah. His mother died. So that whole event was a seance oh, for his for dead his mother. mother. That, oh. Yeah. So that whole thing, the whole project is just for him to try and contact his mother. Yeah, like talk to his like, yeah, contact his mother and all that. Yeah. Right, you guys thank you so much for joining me this um evening for another episode of the green room tea time unfiltered we we're having a few technical issues um i had to come out and come in and reboot and then it started working they worked on another update so <laughs> i see all y'all's twerking gifts in the um chat and to the android users unfortunately they still have not updated android users to be able to discuss y'all can read the chat on here, but you guys can't participate. So I encourage all Android users to go to the Discord where y'all can chat. I have my um, Android phone open to the Discord, so I can see you guys in there as well. But child, it's a lot to talk about, okay? It's a lot to talk about. This R. Kelly situation is getting crazier and crazier. Um, he is proven to be uh, just a total sexual deviant, okay? Not only to young girls, but an abuser of women, and also um, a man is coming forward as well. He's now, I believe, 32 years old, and all of this took place when he was 16. So it's just been a mess with everything going on with R. Kelly. 
I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this news clip here um, where they're talking about the case. So y'all go ahead and listen to this real quick. R. Kelly's ongoing federal sex trafficking trial focuses on six accusers who say he subjected them to psychological, sexual, and physical abuse. Prosecutors allege this was part of R. Kelly's years-long enterprise to recruit and groom young women and girls for illegal sexual activity. But his attorneys say he's innocent and that he's the one who's been victimized by women who were once his fans. Here are some of the biggest moments from the trial thus far. A former tour manager for R. Kelly, Demetrius Smith, spoke about the artist's marriage to Aaliyah, who became a child bride at just 15 years old. According to Smith's testimony, he helped Kelly bribe a government worker in Illinois to get a fake ID for Aaliyah. Smith and another witness testified the reason for their marriage was to conceal Aaliyah's pregnancy, which could have led to criminal charges for R. Kelly since she was a minor. An anonymous witness who took the stand this week was also underage. She testified she was a 17-year-old aspiring singer when she met R. Kelly, although she told him she was 18 then. Over the course of their five-year relationship, the woman told the court Kelly abused her, gave her herpes, and forced her to get an abortion. The anonymous woman told the court she eventually became one of R. Kelly's live-in girlfriends and says she was expected to abide by a strict set of rules. She testified R. Kelly required permission to do basic things, like use the bathroom, that he forced her to only wear baggy clothing and forbade her from speaking to other men. She also said Kelly hit her if she broke the rules. Another accuser, Geronda Pace, testified to a similar pattern of abuse when she took the stand last week, just days before her due date, according to her social media. Pace wept as she described the nature of her sexual relationship with R. Kelly that started when she was just 16 years old. Like the other witness, Pace also testified Kelly subjected her to strict rules, beat her when she didn't comply, and gave her herpes. There's a bit of nuance when it comes to the crimes R. Kelly is charged with. He's not charged with individual crimes related to these accusers' accounts. Instead, prosecutors are trying to convince the jury that they were victims of a larger sex trafficking scheme. R. Kelly is facing one count of racketeering and eight sex trafficking charges related to violations of the Mann Act, which criminalizes the transportation of, quote, any woman or girl for the purpose of prostitution or debauchery or for any other immoral purpose. Throughout the trial, Kelly's legal team has attempted to portray the accusers as, quote, disgruntled groupies who were, quote, dying to be with him. On cross-examination, his defense attorney accused Geronda Pace of stalking him, a claim she denied in court. He's pleaded not guilty to all nine charges presented in this federal trial, as well as additional sex crime charges in Illinois and Minnesota. Guys, so you guys just heard that. I think there's enough evidence. There's enough witnesses. Um, there is even people that we hadn't heard about that's come out as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys um, just some more of the information that's come out. So as far as the male accuser, they say on Monday, the jury heard from two accusers, both of whom were underage when they met Mr. R. Kelly. Lewis said his first encounter with Mr. R. Kelly in 2006, when he was 17 years old, was working the night shift at a McDonald's in Chicago. Now, anybody familiar with that McDonald's? That's where R. Kelly has been picking up people, I guess men now, or boys, um, child since I was in junior high. That McDonald's is R. Kelly's spot. Well, that's where this young man worked at. So then they go on to say, he told the court that Mr. Kelly slipped him his phone number and invited him to his house, saying he could perform in his recording studio and receive some tips on the music business. On one such occasion, Star X Lewis if he had ever had any fantasies involving men, then allegedly crawled on his knees and proceeded to give me oral sex. Child. Afterwards, he told me to keep it between him and me. We're family now. We're brothers, Lewis alleged. Him and R. Kelly, uh, he said Mr. R. Kelly asked him to call him daddy, echoing the testimony of several female accusers and would routinely film their sexual encounters. He told the court that he kept seeing Mr. Kelly because he really wanted to make it in the music industry and sometimes took friends to the singer's parties. One of them was a 16-year-old boy who also had a sexual encounter with Mr. Kelly, according to the court documents. He directed two of them to touch each other sexually, Lewis testified, but they refused. Lewis, who is now 32, was testifying as a part of a cooperation agreement he entered into in February 2001, under which he hopes to avoid 
under which he hopes to avoid jail time of up to 15 years. He had previously pled guilty to offering money to potential witnesses against Mr. R. Kelly in an attempt to stop her for cooperating with prosecutors. Lewis said that he was worried that the unnamed witness possessed sex tapes of him and Mr. Kelly, but maintained that the star had no knowledge of the bribery attempt. Okay, so that was just one of the testimonies here from one of the guys. Then there was another one involving two young girls. So the other person who testified, the woman who testified under the name Addie, said her and her friend had been approached by two men who looked like bouncers, and they were invited backstage after one of his shows. Once there, she alleged that Mr. Kelly cleared the room, grabbed... Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go! Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.